Now after understanding the concept of the kinematics of fluid flow, let us now talk about the types of fluid flow. The very first type of fluid flow is the steady and unsteady flow. Now what is a steady flow? Well, steady and unsteady flow means that you need to get something in, in respect to time. So if the velocity of the fluid or if the pressure of the fluid or if the density of the fluid is not changing with respect to time then the fluid flow is called a steady flow otherwise it is called unsteady flow. This means let us only take the case of velocity. So if the rate of change of velocity with respect to time is 0 then the flow becomes a steady flow. Similarly if I, if I only take the case of velocity this would be a non-zero value means there is some variation of velocity with respect to time in the case of an unsteady flow. The second kind of flow that we have is a uniform flow and the non-uniform flow. Well as in steady and unsteady you are dependent on time. Here you need to see the variation of the motion characteristics with respect to space. So again if I, if I take the case of velocity, if the variation of velocity with respect to the space or, or you know with respect to length is 0, then the flow becomes uniform. Okay, And if it is non-zero, then it becomes non-uniform. So in a way I can say that if the flow has no velocity gradient, it has no pressure gradient, then it becomes a uniform flow. And if it has some velocity gradient, it becomes an unsteady flow. The next kind of flow is the difference between laminar and turbulent flow. If you talk about laminar flow, then the streamlines that represent the flow would be exactly straight and parallel to each other. So these are parallel and very well defined streamlines and they are equispaced from each other. So this kind of a flow is called a laminar flow. If I talk about the turbulent flow, then the flow of the fluid particles is zigzag. They can be going anywhere in a random direction. So this becomes the turbulent flow. So this is zigzag motion of the fluid particles. Now in a pipe flow, the or you can say the uh, definition or the demarcation of a flow being laminar or turbulent depends upon the Reynolds number. So a Reynolds number is given as V into D upon nu where nu is the kinematic viscosity and uh, this can be put as rho D V upon mu where rho is the density, D is the diameter, V is the velocity and mu is the dynamic viscosity. Okay. So if your Reynolds number is less than or equal to 2000, then the flow is termed as a laminar flow. Okay. If it is between 2000 and 4000, then the flow is called a transition flow that is neither laminar nor turbulent. So this would be in transition. Okay. And if the Reynolds number becomes more than 4000, then the flow becomes entirely turbulent. Then it becomes turbulent. Okay. So you need to remember these three values of the Reynolds number which, which make your flow either laminar or turbulent. Now let us move on to the next. Uh, type of fluid flow that is the compressible and incompressible flow. Now compressibility means we are talking about density. If the density remains constant, if there is no change in the density which means d rho is 0, then the flow is called incompressible flow. Then it is called 
incompressible flow. But if the density is not constant, this means that the change in density would not be a zero value. Then this becomes a compressible flow. Means your density will change. Okay. The last kind of flow is either a 1D flow or a 2D flow or a 3D flow. So if I, I talk about three axes, you have these three axes, x, y, and z. The component of velocity in the x axis is small u. The component of velocity in y axis is small v. And in z axis is small w. So let, let me just take the case of velocity. So if I take the case of 1D flow, then u would be a non-zero value and v and w would be zero. Or either you can say v would be non-zero and u and w would be zero, either of them. Okay. If it is, uh, you can say 2D, so in this case, you will have u as a function of x only. But if you take 2D flow, then you will have u as non-zero and v as non-zero and we will assume that the uh, velocity component in the z axis is zero. So this means that the velocity will be a function of x and y both. So you will have both the components. Okay, so if you have to define the velocity vector, then it will be equal to uh, ui cap plus vj cap. Similarly, we will go for the 3D flow. Right, so where you will have uh, u, v and w all non-zero values. So this is how we define the types of fluid flow. Okay, we will be, you know, we'll be dealing with steady and unsteady flow in uh, huge amounts when we start talking about numericals. We will talk about uniform and non-uniform flow also and this laminar and turbulent flow is also very high importance. So these three should be remembered and understood in very uh, you know good proportion so i hope you got this concept of the types of fluids now let's move on to the next topic and talk about two terms one is the rate of flow and the second is the continuity equation